Hello everyone, this is Brother Birch, and welcome to week 13. Congrats on making it to the end of the class. Uh, for my programming exercise that I'm going to do this week, uh, we're still in chapter 10. Uh, last week I did this one, and then 2, 3, and 4, and 5 are our assignments for these weeks. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do 11. There's a lot in here, um, but I feel like 11 is a pretty good one. Um, it's very common to have to sort arrays in any programming language. It's also very common to have to um, do data conversions and things like that. So uh, I think this is going to be a good one for uh, for us to do. Okay, so right here I have my um, text editor open with just um, a, a little template that I have, and I'll just save this as temp.html. All right, um, it doesn't say anything about needing a defining table, so I'll go ahead and just take that out of there. And um, let's go ahead and start this. So write an HTML document with two text areas and a button. Okay, let's go ahead and look into this. So um, I'm going to start it off making a text area. And we're going to need two of those. We're going to need a button right in the middle. All right, and then I'm just going to copy this file path and paste it here. Make sure we have something on the page at least, and we do. All right, so now I'm going to add IDs to both of these. Uh, and we'll just say sorted. And for this one, I will say unsorted. And for this, I'll say onclick equals uh, organize array. Okay. Then I grab this and copy it into a function up here. All right. Um, I also want to make this look like. Uh, this does. <clears throat> so I'm going to add some styles right up here. This isn't required. So if you don't care about this, go ahead and skip ahead a minute or so. Okay. And for this, I want, um, I'm going to have some styles for the entire body. And then I'll also have styles for just the text area. Um, so let's see here. We'll say width. Uh, we'll just make it 80%. And with a left margin of 10%. Okay, that'll make the page nice and centered, and I'll also say text align center, which will make it center justified. So if I refresh that and look now, you see that looks a little bit better. For this text area, I'll say width 100%, and sorry, pixels, because looking at this over here, it seems to probably be around 100 pixels. And I'll say min height, let's try like 300 pixels. Okay. Um, and then also for both the text area and the buttons, um, let's say display inline block and vertical align top. Okay, that'll make everything float to the top rather nicely. See that? Okay, and then for this button, let's see, what does it say? It says sort, so we'll go ahead and put sort in here as well. And refresh this, okay. So looks really similar to this. That's good. Um, I do want to add just a little header that says sort arrays. Okay. And that should be nice and centered as well. Look at that beautiful thing. <clears throat> okay. Now that all the nitty gritty stuff's over with, let's, uh, let's write some code. So uh, we have these two IDs. All right. So I'm going to have to do something with both of those. So I'll say... Um, document dot get element by ID Oops. all right and then this next one is going to be the output so I'll say dot inner HTML equals and we'll just put null for now since we don't have anything else and this one will be dot value um, and we'll say our input string equals that one Okay, so we have the input right here. I'll go ahead and make just a comment for that and make another one for this. Okay, all right. Now, a couple of things we're gonna have to do. Um, I want to make an array out of this, um, but to do that, I'm gonna have to split this, okay? If I run this, let me blow this up and hit F12, okay? <clears throat> and I'm gonna put a breakpoint uh, right here. I wanna show you guys what this will look like, so. Okay, there's our stuff. Our input string, you can see it is literally a string. Okay, 
with uh, line breaks inside of it. If you look carefully here, you can see these line break characters. Okay, and so we need to somehow convert that into an array. Okay, so I'm going to make a, a separate function here that says function create array from string. And in this function, I'm going to have two different parameters. Okay, we're going to have that string first. Um, so I'll say input string. And then I'll also say um, whatever we're going to split it by. Okay, um, so in this case, let's say var array equals, <clears throat> we'll say create array from string, and we'll pass in that input string. In addition to um, the line break character in JavaScript, which is backslash n. Okay. Now let's build this out. Let me just run this, make sure we don't have any errors going on. We don't. Okay, good. So this, we're going to take this input string and turn it into an array. So we'll say input string dot split and we'll split it by the splitter. Now, if you look up JavaScript split, like on W3Schools, you can split it by commas or anything you want. Um, in this case, I'll be splitting it by whatever we pass in. Okay, trying to make this function as reusable as possible. Okay, and then I'm gonna loop through, and I also wanna make sure that we actually have numbers, because to be able to sort them, we wanna have numbers and not strings. Okay, so I'll say for var i equals zero, i is less than input string dot length, I plus plus. <clears throat> now, to do this, I want to make sure that we actually have numbers. If somebody puts in a letter and we try to parse it, it'll give us an error. So I'll say if it isn't a number, basically. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try to parse that value in here. And if it comes back as not a number, then we're not going to do anything. We're not going to parse it. But if it doesn't, then we're going to parse it. Okay, and I'll say array i equals parse int uh, array i. Okay, and I replace that number with a parsed number so it can actually be a number instead of a string. All right, and then after all that's said and done, we'll just return array. Okay, so we'll get our nice array out of that. Um, and then after this, um, we can we need to sort it right. So our sorted array equals, um, we're going to have to say array.sort, and the sort, we're, we're going to have to give it a parameter, right? So let's make another function down here that says sort number, and we'll pass this sort thing, we'll expect a function similar to this, and we can say just return a minus b, okay? And that'll say, uh, basically, put in ascending order. Okay, and then I'll put sort number in here as a parameter, and then and this sort function will expect that. Okay, so let's run this up to this point, see how things are working. Try a negative number. Okay, <clears throat> and I'll put the put in a couple of breakpoints here so we can see what's going on. Hit sort. All right, we have our input string, and then we come into this function, passed in that, and a line break. See how it comes through there? That's funny. Okay. And you can see that we have an array, a big array of strings. These are all string data types. And then in here, we'll say, okay, if this value, whoops, if this value right here is able to be parsed, then we're gonna parse it. Okay, oh, but I got an error. What was the error? Is nan is not defined. Let's see here. Oh, I have a typo. It has to be is nan uppercase n. My bad, guys. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, and sort that. Jump to that next one. Come down here. Okay, you can see that came through right, and so it'll replace that first value, and it'll do that for all of them. Okay, then it'll try to sort these, and you can see that it passed in like the first two values of our array. Okay, it's out of scope right now, but, um, but it'll sort it nicely. And then we end up with this sorted array. Okay, sweet. So now we just have to convert this back into a string so that we can paste it in here. Okay, because if we try, let's just try, see what happens uh, to put this into that text area. Let's see what happens. Whoops. Hit sort. <clears throat> I can move these out of the way. You can see it didn't really 
it doesn't look like this, okay? And it should. So we need something to convert this back into a string that will be broken up by um, line breaks. So I can say if our message string equals, and I'll say sorted array, right? That's what we're working with right now, dot to string. Okay, now this, at this point, we'll just put it into a comma delimited list. That's a string, okay? No spaces, no anything. So I'm gonna say dot replace. And I'm going to replace those commas that I know are there, okay? Um, and I'll replace it with line breaks, okay? And then we'll output this message string. Okay, now let's try that. And I'm gonna put a breakpoint right here just so we can see what's going on there. All right, hit sort. So our sorted array is right here, okay? Sort array dot two string. Let's see what this gives us. See that? Comma delimited string, no spaces or anything. And we're just going to say replace the commas with line breaks. Okay. And that ends up being like that. Okay. Let it go. And it comes through there perfectly. Okay. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, here's uh, finished code in here. Um, but yeah, that, that's how I did it. There's lots of different ways to do this. I didn't have to make a separate function right here. I could have you know, put a comment to like split up the string into an array and, and convert stuff to numbers up in here. But I thought it'd be nice to make a little reusable function. Um, and then sort number, this is a pretty common function that you'll see very often anytime you have to like do number comparisons and sorting and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful and uh, I wish you the best during week 13.